Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this tutorial is about attributes which are uh, part of blocks that can describe what information is outside of just your drawn objects. In this case I've got a computer with the top view of my case and the monitor and the keyboard at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is add attributes that describe what information makes that computer different from other blocks. And I do this by creating attribute definitions. And each definition has a tag, a prompt, and usually a default uh, answer, if you will. So here I am creating an attribute that will allow me to input what type of CPU is inside this particular computer and you're just going to have to watch me input and badly type a few things as I get uh, four or five attribute definitions in and so I'm right here picking a text style to go with this attribute and I just want the text to be a quarter inch tall and a zero rotation and I'll specify where I want it to go in this case just up here in the top left and now I'm going to do the same thing and I'll be doing it multiple times to create another attribute and this one will be for the monitor size and with blocks you can have as many or as few attributes as you want it can be something as simple as just a uh, model number so that you can click on a even something as simple as a rectangular block and know exactly what model number is represented by that rectangle. So as long as you have a block you can add attributes to it. And I always put in the uh, default showing the format that I would want the user to input the data as. And in this case I just put XX inches. Now with the next one, this is going to be for the hard drive size and here I am once again putting in a prompt and for the prompts this is going to be showing up uh, on the command line and also in dialog boxes and so you want to make a very logical prompt you don't want to just take shortcuts and put in something cryptic put in something that is just very straightforward and yet concise at the same time and so I've added three and now I'm just gonna add uh, two more quickly RAM and how much RAM is in it and with this one once again the same thing a tag a prompt and the default and here I put in the default formatting and if you look down at the bottom left what I've been doing with the others as well is making it align below the previous one that I inserted so AutoCAD will keep track of the location of the previous one as well as the text height and put them in properly spaced and now for my last one this is just going to be a station so which computer station so this way we can keep track of the different computers because later in the exercise we'll be putting more in and say in a classroom environment or a business environment you'll be able to keep track of which computer is which based on the station number and as it looks in the overall drawing of the office or the classroom so now I've got everything in there and now I want to do is create a block and just like other blocks I'm creating it with the computer name but I'm also saying it's got attributes as well so here's my block definition being created and I want to pick an insertion point so I'm just going to pick the front and the middle of the keyboard and from there I need to select objects so I'm going to select the geometry part of it first and then select the attributes in the order I want them to appear uh, for inserting the data later so it's I could select them all at once and it'll come out randomly and so now I've created it 
and since I've turned it into a block you can see I've already got this information up on the screen and you can see how it was written. So that's a block with attributes as you can see it's a single object the attributes are part of the block and from there it's just a matter of editing the data so I've double clicked on the block and if there's attributes it'll come up with this option to edit the data and the only thing you can edit at this point is the value so here I am entering in value for this particular computer and this applies only to this single block so no matter how many I put in I can give each one separate information so this computer's got uh, four gigabytes of RAM and it's station number 100 and now all of that appears in the drawing and I can also choose to turn those off with the at dis attribute display option now from here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a desk to put my computer on I'm just going to make it five feet by two feet and move it up out of the way and then just align my block to the middle of the, to the desk and now what I'm going to do is copy the desk over and so now I've got two desks and now I'm going to insert a block and then go with the interviews. There's a line I forgot to uh, make part of my block so I'm going to get rid of it for now for the sake of not doing this tutorial over again so there's my second one and here on the command line it's telling me what blocks or sorry what attributes I need to enter and another reason for having a default in is that I can always say if I don't know what one particular value is I can just press enter and it will put the default value in as the attribute value so now I'm just adding in the RAM and then the station and now I've got my second computer and due to attributes it's distinctly different from the other so from here just for the sake of the exercise I'm going to copy these two over so that I can have four computers and in the second part of this exercise in the next video you'll be seeing how to take this information and turn it into a table and optionally also into an Excel file so here I am I'm just going to change the value for the station and make that computer the same and this one here as well I'm just going to uh, change a couple things on it first of all change the station and this will be number 103 and I'll change the RAM and make that into 3 gig which might not always see and give it a larger monitor of 21 inch so now I've got four different stations now think of this in say a large school where there might be two or three hundred different computers and this is a good way to keep track of all the information in there so thanks for watching this is mycadsite.com and stay tuned for the next video and that'll be on extracting the data and this is tutorial 2-4 mycadsite.com